So anyway, these trays, these carts that you see, because we are on lockdown status, they're getting meals in their cells rather than in the dining room. With most inmates in their cells, we spent nearly an hour both inside the facility and out. It is massive, 55 acres of the place just within the walls. You can see the water down there in the corner. That's one of the quarries. It is historic. It is gothic. It is seductively secretive. So yeah, it's been, it's been kind of shrouded in mystery. It's been here 125 years. Colin Gal, the wardens, worked here now for more than 40 of those years. A prison originally built as a reformatory built by the inmates using granite they quarried themselves. The very profit-driven reason the legislature chose this site. Graniting, mining granite, cutting granite, was at that, in that era, a big business. Still sticking. What is that? That's called a brake system. This is the original locking mechanism. Still in use, Unit B is four levels of cells that barely hold a bunk and a sink and a table. Many of them actually have bunk beds. It is one of five cell blocks here now, but for the first 25 years, it was the only one. And originally, it had a wooden stockade fence. It, the granite it? wall wasn't always there. That granite wall, by the way, the longest in the world, is not the only layer of security anymore. This is what we would call, what you would call in the movies, the yard. St. Cloud currently serves as the state's intake facility, meaning everybody comes here first to be assessed and reassigned to another prison. Most only stay a few months. One reason that some stay longer is to enroll in St. Cloud's two-year masonry program, which ties nicely into its quarrying past. And a lot of our students from here actually leave here and they, a lot of them get hired with the Bricklayers Union. License plates aren't made here anymore, but they used to be. The old raised letter plates, did, did all of them in Minnesota come from here? All of them from here. Every motorcycle, truck, trailer, vehicle plate was manufactured here. A rare look inside in part to celebrate a milestone, but also a chance for corrections to brag a little. 75% of our offenders out three years without a new felony conviction. That's a pretty good rate of success.